the Gallery of Refined Gravity. Hey guys, today we're trying Gravitas as requested by Patreon subscriber Havi. One of them 3D puzzle games. Sure. We don't need creativity today. Gotta save that for the puzzles. They had some of those obnoxious doors that fold in the hilariously ridiculous way. Galaxy Shark Studios. Nope. Nope. I have to ask you to calm down here with that FOV. Okay. <laughs> it was zoomed in so bad. We were looking through such a narrow cone. Equalizing interior pressure with outside atmosphere. Alert! New arrival detected in the main lobby. Not now, she. I'm having my bi-hourly pondering time. The new pupil will be here any minute, and I must release all of my introspectiveness out into space. I'm like 90% sure I've heard this song before. Why was, why was that so much louder than the rest of the game? Oh my goodness, you're so cute! Look at your tiny blank face! So happy you could come! Mm. Uh, she, say hello to our new pupil! Hello to our new pupil! Thank you, she. Mm. Let's start over, shall we? Uh, uh, apologies if I seem out of sorts. It's been many a month since my last pupil died. It is an egregiously large pleasure to meet you. My name is... Hmm. No, S Steve? Uh, uh, no matter, why don't you just call me the curator? Yes, yes, that makes the right body parts tingle. But, uh, but enough about me, let us begin your journey. Welcome, my new pupil, to the Gallery of Refined Gravity. She, you, you, s silly girl, remember how we rehearsed this? Engage the Gravitas Protocol. Engaging. Okay, let's, uh, uh, she, uh, uh, open the lobby door, please. Lobby door? Now, function. The main door is still, <coughs> nothing is wrong. Let me just get this open, you, hmm. Ah, onward! <laughs> There's so many variations of animations and facial expressions they'd set up for his little eyeballs. They're just two circles where they hide different parts of the circle, basically. The hollow cube. The hollow cube was a prototype for creating a lighter, easier to move cube. However, somehow, she managed to misinterpret the blueprint and now it weighs over 14 tons. Where does the extra weight come from? We just don't know. Ah! Okay, stop that. Is, why is that the loudest sound ever? I'm gonna preemptively turn you down because Jesus Christ. That thing weighs tons? The Crimson Cube was a powerful superhero in the cube world, searching for the villain that killed his parents and took a piece of his head as a trophy. He, his is a tale of revenge and betrayal, enhanced by the fact that he is a cube spending his life searching for a smaller cube. Oh, this is a good, just a tiny missing cube. That's, he has to get filled back in. The fuck is happening? The Fieldable Cube is a scientific marvel made out of love and duct tape. The most advanced cube in the gallery. You may find this, them in later exhibits. Be careful, though. Packing that much technology into a beautiful bundle makes them gorgeous but heavy. Not unlike elephants. What? Okay. Well, yeah, I looked at the waveform of the audio and it really loses its mind the moment I click on that. It is just so loud. It's covered in hexagons. That's how you know it's full of technology. If you want to make something seem sci-fi or mystical, you just cover it in hexagons. Maybe even columns that are hexagonal, you know? Yeah. Cube. F fancy. Okay. The wire cube. 
while aesthetically delightful, proved unsuitable for regular use in the gallery due to its del delicate structure. One good hit can turn this cube into a series of thin cylinders, which are not remotely allowed in this gallery. These cubes are now serve primarily as a lightweight decoration and on sunny days, a very comfortable hat. Ah. All right. I've definitely heard the song somewhere, like it's a stock song or something. <gasps> Another cube. Why are there so many cubes and why can't I pick them up or click on them? Hmm. This unique gallery is an exploration into artistic expression using groundbreaking technology and cubes. The only rule is no talking ever. All right? Good. She, the elevator. Please enjoy your visit to the court. Well, isn't he just goddamn adorable? So to appreciate my revolutionary work here, you will need this special glove. I call it the Ah! Approach the pedestal <laughs> to see if you are worthy and or have opposable thumbs. I don't want to make that sound, which is going to be the sound I make when I touch it, I think. Begin the connection sequence. Integrating artistic appreciation enhancement apparatus. Ding! Integration complete. All right, you should be ready. You now have very limited control over gravity. Use that power. Come to me. Jump this petty gap, you glorious fool! You just mean that I gained the ability to, to jump? Is that Why what you mean? are you just standing there? Uh, what? No, no, you have to create a gravity field. Why would you just blindly... You know, it, it doesn't matter. Let's just get you out of there. There is a fieldable surface on the ceiling, and there you go. Oh, now, there it is. you do that, the glove emits energy that attempts to connect with these special glowy walls. You are ready, and methinks it's time for some art. I didn't know though that that's where the gravity things were. I mean, I guess that's how I got here, but like, I don't know. I guess it's not what I expected. They're a little weird. They're also absolutely just the... They're just the gravity tunnels from Portal 2. But I can place them. Which you could also do in Portal, actually. Just you had to have a destination and source via portals. Huh. Blip. But yeah, whatever that generic electric... The generic, like, tech noise needs to be deleted from the game because it's so ear-piercingly loud. It's kind of baffling. It's like the exact tech sound that's like Rareware used to use and like Perfect Dark and Jet Force Gemini and stuff like that. Whoever made these doors is an asshole. All oh, these folding doors. They're so ridiculous. I've seen them before. I've seen somebody have those kinds of closet doors. Neat. One of the gimmicks of it, if it's like in your living room or your bedroom or whatever, is that it's a closet door that you can open and close without it uh, getting in the way. Normally it's not flush with the wall on the inside though. Like it's, if it's already inside the wall, then they could have just had normal sliding doors that just slide into the wall. But if it's like an exterior door, then normally the door would have to swing outward along for like that'd be the hinge and it'd have to go swinging outward because that's how doors work. And so if you have the weird folding door, it goes and it's just now adjacent to your closet against the wall without having swung out at all. So it saves some space in that really specific context, which is not how they're using them here. Because these just go into the wall, and they already have sliding doors. Those already oh, exist. Good. There you are. This is the first piece of my gallery. I call this one Ascension. Because it goes up. Oh wow, he went in heavy. Dramatic pause. Now that you have the eye here, you have enough memory to store the significance of my work. And free Wi-Fi. Ah, your Your voice is clipping. Rise to a higher ah. Room ah. Of autistic thought. Ah, record at a lower volume so your voice doesn't clip. You can increase the voice volume later in editing. This is, this is the audio mixing in this game is a problem. And the audio recording. All right, so in this first piece, I'm just going to observe you. If you don't mind. This is all for the future of the medium, you understand. Creepy. And also putting on a glove was considered a form of consent being observed and recorded. Let us begin! Uh... What was the last part? What was the last? Was the last part? You can just tell me what the last part was. How do I don't get out of the floor? I won't be on, on the floor anymore. 
What are you venting into this room? Is that the neurotoxin that will slowly kill me? Like in a similar but unrelated game? Are you flooding the test chamber with the deadly neurotoxin? That bloom is excessive. That was a mistake. We should try doing what I'm doing, but good. If we can figure that out. Because I'm fucking it up. There we go. Are you getting off on this? Observing me? Is this what you want? You monster. I guess I'm trying to go that way. I think. That's so loud. Did she just reveal that I'm a robot or something? Am I a robot? Is that the, the world's come to? Is that I'm a robot? Alright, let's try this again. Shut the fuck up. Weird high-pitched noise. Much better. Ah, it's so much better. The, d the downside though is that every other sound effect's gonna be muted now, and there might be other ones. Oh yeah, like I can't even hear this now. I can kinda hear it, just barely. But yeah, it's really hard to hear me putting portals down, but I'll take that over the ear-piercing nightmare oh, of this other audio. Symbolism really fast. Wow, that took me four years to build, and you just... Mm. Yeah. What are you fucking... Do? What are you gonna do about it, hmm? How long have you been alone? How long have I been here? I'm done. Well, I'm a robot, so you had to build me for two, right? That's the situation. Your chambers, you do not break eye contact, and it's freaking me out. <laughs> I will now ah. tell you a story a story about a garden of gravity. The garden is quiet. A gorg reminder press the right mouse button to cancel your current gravity field. She, holy mother of immersion, just engage the calming ambience. The ambience initialize. Oh, she's referencing ah, my controller. So that's the joke. Valleys, search its nooks, fondle its crannies. Let the story begin. Oh yeah, I want to get my crannies fondled. Where am I trying to go? What is my goal in this room? I can't tell. Ooh, there's one down here. This is a loop, isn't it? No! Escape! No, 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 how beautiful, how quaint. The stone falls into the river, bringing your goals in sight by disrupting nature, scaring deer and confusing the birds. The stone judges you. The second stone stays neutral. It does not know you, but likes your face. The first stone judges this new stone. It does this because it is insecure. The third stone disturbs some fish. They jump out of the water for safety and land on the shore. As they slowly die gasping, they attempt to lament the irony However, they cannot because they are fish. After like 2.5 seconds, they forget they are dying. The fourth stone breaks the surface of the calm pond of your mind, creating ripples that disturb the moss of your imagination. The wavy imaginary moss distracts a deer who runs away immediately into a tree. They're very destructive stories where bad things happen to animals. You can't defeat me with your metaphors. I'm impervious to metaphors and critical thinking and abstract thinking and thinking. What <laughs> happened? 
I must develop a system in order to continue. There we go. That's not what I wanted to do just now. I fucked up and now we're never gonna beat this puzzle. The sixth and final stone is actually just a cube, but it judges me and I hate it. You're like a midpoint between Wheatley and Zim. Like lol random humor and awkward social graces. It judges me and I hate it. Can I just climb up this? Oh god, I'm getting cubed. Oh, Did I put all of these in the river because I could then walk on them to get across that gap? Because I think that's exactly why they were here in the first place. Gotcha. Ah, fuck. Time to go back again. I've done it. The stones have now all drowned. Oh no. That's bad for uh, most things to drown. Is now 42% we have company and also I don't care. This hollow cube is full of a room, including another hollow cube. Paradox continues. This hollow cube is full of a cylinder covered in hexagons. These are incompatible shapes and cannot be mixed. It is an abomination. This cube is a chair, but it's not in chair space. It's on a pedestal, which makes it art. That's a chair, and this is art chair, which is art of a chair, because it's presented. There's a lot of context and packaging. That's how art works. And this one is invisible. There's nothing there. I can't see it. Ah, oh, little pupil friend. I ah, have a surprise fuck for you. my ears. I've added a few new things to this next piece to maximize your appreciation of my genius. Isn't that great? I'm so excited. It's not that, it's not even that Welcome loud. Welcome to the second piece of my gallery. I call this one, Now You Can Die! That's not nice. Oh. Alright, we'll go have some fun. Dying's and bad. watch your step, if you like feet. <laughs> watch your step if you like feet. So the, the one beep is, is agonizingly loud to the point where it actually hurts if I don't turn it down. But this just hurts my soul. What? I simply added a few solar death beams, which, by the by, are completely harmless. So long as you just keep them away from your eyes and skin. Also, my work is definitely worth dying for. So be gone, my pupil. You have near death experiences to critique. No, I'm recoiling from it. So it's not agonizingly loud or anything in his case it's just that they recorded it badly and it's crackling and and popping and clipping and you're, you're supposed to not do that when you record that's like one of the first things you learn when you start a youtube channel is you're like how to not fuck up all your audio and unfortunately they didn't learn that and they fucked up all their audio <laughs> so every time he raises his voice it goes <laughs> which is a bummer because he's giving a funny little performance and like it's all animated. There's like a lot of personality here. And I'm like, I, I just wish the audio wasn't goofed up. This is because he's funny. Oh, there you are. I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. This here is Bartholomew Cube. He will be assisting you with this particular piece, which is good because he has neither skin nor eyes. Uh, be gentle. Those are important. Him, though, Those are like really important characteristics for a friend is their lack of eyes. Is he sensitive about his lack of, his lack of eyes? He shouldn't be, I value that. My favorite attribute of his is his lack of... Lack of eyes. Huzzah, I live. Which is an important characteristic of me. One might say is my most valued asset. Yeah, I'm just gonna loop the entire joke now. Alert. Main generator coolant system malfunction. Ugh. Attempting I'm manual sorry, she repairs. has just been so Failure. desperate for attention lately. Just, coolant reserves just ignore her. For Penguin Pupil Initiative. She, you will eventually need to let that go. The mastery of their abstract ice sculptures haunts me. I think I just need to write it and hope I don't die. 
Yeah, I can die, but I shall not. I actually hate Bartholocube. No. Joy, we have arrived at the Laser Ocean. To cross this perilous pool of peripheral pulchritude, you must truly understand why the mind fears death. But you also must fear death, because if you fall in, you die. A Gorg reminder. There is no diving in the laser ocean unless a lifeguard is present. You can't tell me what to do. You know, after... Oh, joy! We have arrived at the laser ocean. To cross this perilous pool of peripheral pulchritude, you must truly understand why the mind fears death. But you also must fear death, because if you fall in, you die. A Gorg reminder. There is no diving in the laser ocean unless a lifeguard is present. I'm pretty sure he made up like three of those words. You know, after we're finished with this session, I think I'll introduce you to my penguin pupils. You would love them. They have a glorious little playground where they sculpt ice entirely with their little feet. Alert. Main generator is now on fire. Evacuating is now 74% recommended. No one cares. She stopped recommending things. I wish I could crouch. That's like an important thing to have access to right about now. It's weird how like, this game doesn't have a death animation. You just fall in the, in the lasers and then just fades to gray. It's just like, just whoopsie. Whoopsie doodles. Let's just get around to respawning you real quick if you don't mind. Anyway, made it. Do 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 Mm 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 I'm gonna die. Aha, I deactivated just in time because I was pretty sure I was gonna die. And that's bad for me, getting crushed to death. Fucking pro tip. Um. Oh wait, I just leave you there and just goodbye. Wow, keep finishing these really fast. Oh, and you still have both of your eyes and feet. Look at you. It's a metaphor about game development. Yay! But loading time. Everything's got motion blur except for those plants. The cube. The cube loop. This seems to be some kind of thing covered in... Oh, God! Oh, no! It's being devoured whole by the wall! Ah, oh, what horrible, horrible fate has befallen you! How sad. Goodbye. I wonder if we're gonna find one of these that's like a reference to Cube Escape or something. A stack of children's cubes? Some strange things happening. Oh, they've, all got, they've all got a missing corner. And this one has a tiny tree in it. And that tree is subject to... It's rippling? I'm not sure why. What air movement do we have in this room? We're indoors. We don't even have a ceiling fan in here. Not even... Uh, they're kind of they're kind of rippling a little bit. I call this one surprise! Ah, Jesus, fuck! Oh, Jesus! Appreciate my work while you're still high on adrenaline! A Gorg reminder. Broken glasses sharp. This gave me two heart attacks in a row. Just stand in the viewing room and twitch. That is technically another option. Listen, that was a lot. Listen, that was a lot. Scare the shit out of me and then it turned back around and a horrible worse thing happened and I didn't even notice it because I wasn't fully appreciating what kind of bullshit was happening in my life at that moment. Uh, but boom! Oh, how rude of me. I got caught up in all the smashing. Let me introduce you to my special friend. I call her the Wreckahedron. This bodacious cube is my most destructive creation. Especially with those hips. The Wreckahedron. What can I crack? What can I break with it? Ah, that'd be a good start. My 
you were natural. Yes, yes, I see much anger in you. How does glass now, physics work? Anger is the natural response to coexisting with stupid people. Oh. Is that why Andrew's always angry? Uh. How do I hit the floor? Ever. Hmm. Hmm. How does this work? I'm not really sure. What? Surprisingly hard to hit that. Okay. I can do this. Gotta land right here and then. Whee! I did it! Okay, cool. Welcome, my people, ah. to your destructionist phase. Now refine all the big glass into billions of tiny glass. Oh. Jump. Follow her straight into cube hell and punch Bartholocube. We okay. dropped him. I'm currently in that place. Hit. Oh yeah, tricky jump. I'm badass. It's topped right around that. I don't need no stinking other things in my life that solve problems. I can just jump everywhere. That's how this works. Boop. Boop -a boom boop -a boom boop. All right. Hello. Don't mind me just accomplishing everything with my hand brain. A hand and a brain. That's how this works. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Okay. Does this work? It does work. Oh god, my eyes, my eyes. Why didn't you give me safety glasses? I'm blind forever. It's all your fault. Oh, we need we need momentum of it, evidently. It's an important part of the equation. Boom. What? What? You have selected nah. people playground. They're all dead. What? They're all dead. They're all dead. You Evacuate killed them. Is now recommended. You killed them all. The women. And the children. You slaughtered them like animals. Go up more. There. There we go. Fixable. But well, like, not that fixable, you know. Uh, how do I get past lasers that come out of- Oh, they're coming out of the ground? Okay, that bit better. Hit, hit, there we go. Bloop! Pies. Got a green one. We got a little staircase going into that one. Isn't that nice? Got these drinking ones that you drink out of, and also you stare directly into the light when you try to drink out of them, so it's like... They, like, they, they, see, they, they wanted to have these here, because they have, they, they, they match up with health code and building code and all that. You gotta have drinking fountains, but they didn't want to pay for the plumbing, so they put a horrible blinding light in the direction you have to put your face if you want to try to drink from this thing. So no one ever does. And that's what they save on their water bill. The geniuses. Unfortunately, they had to pay for the power, but I think that's cheaper. I'm not sure. That one looks like a pencil sharpener. Whoa, for once this is like legible. Ah, fuck. But the, the light's here to screw me. Chapter 14. On cubes and their angles, the humble cube is known throughout the world as a solid, dependable shape. Whether this is due to it's... I give up. It's too It's too small. and It hurts to, it hurts to read. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. The yellow and the ooh. Ooh, the beveled cube. Look at him and his sexy indentations. Anyway, this is, uh, was it called Gravitas? 
when I look at the little start menu bar that of the current game that's running, it says Sky Arc, and maybe it was maybe it was called Sky Arc in development at some point. Wait, what the fuck? Outside of space? Wait, that's just the, that's just what the sky looks like. No, it's space. I'm in space. Okay. And we're spinning in space. Is space a cube out there? I can't tell. Was I not supposed to be able to see at this angle? Maybe it's just supposed to be the sky? I don't know. I think we're in space. Concern. Anyway, that's about the time we have for today. Thanks for watching like always. This game seems kind of promising, or at the very least amusing. That surprise joke was pretty funny, in particular. If you'd like to check this game out for yourself, there's a link in the description to the Steam page. Thank you to the developers for sending me a code so I could preview their game. I broke that with my feet, I just realized. I broke it, and it's dead now. I didn't realize I could do that. I I'm a monster. Eh, eh, eh. No, that seems to be made of a special breakable material, apparently. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.